Hey guys, it's Tina here. Welcome back to another episode of Tina Tries It. In today's episode, I'll be trying out an armpit brightener. Now, if you haven't had time to subscribe to my channel yet, make sure you click the subscribe button below to stay updated with future videos. I want to give a big thank you to Best Fiends for sponsoring this episode of Tina Tries It. Best Fiends is a free puzzle adventure game where you collect and upgrade characters by matching same coloured objects to defeat slugs. This month, the whole game is a holiday wonderland with new Christmas themed fiend style skins. Also, Best Fiends just got more social with leaderboards. Now you can connect to Facebook and compete with all your friends. I've been obsessed with this game and I'm currently on level 67. Try and beat me and let me know what level you're on. Download the game for free using the link in the description box below. The product I'm using today is the Appeal Dio Armpit Brightener. This product is from Korea and apparently it's supposed to remove bumpy dead skin and impurities from your armpits. The main ingredients are ethyl hexoglycerin, which helps to manage bad odour and sweaty smells, milk protein extract, which helps to maintain smooth, clear skin texture, white lily and lemon extract, which helps to brighten up dull skin, and there's aloe vera and cucumber extract, which helps to protect sensitive skin from irritation. Now, when it comes to my armpits, that's an area that I'm, I'm pretty sensitive about. In the past, some of you guys have commented and said that like I forgot to shave my underarms, but actually like I get laser, so I'm actually I have no hair under there, but it's just kind of like naturally dark because previously when I was younger, I would always shave my underarms and that makes your skin like more pigmented and dark. So hence I have like dark underarms. I promise there's no hair there, so I'm pretty like I'm pretty embarrassed when you guys point it out. So this product I'm really excited about because I really hope that it does widen up my underarms. Do any of you guys have this problem? Please let me know I'm not like the only weirdo out there with like dark underarms. Now with this product, you're not supposed to use it on like skin with any open cuts or eczema or like if you have like really sensitive skin, there's a disclaimer to not try this product out. Actually, now that makes me kind of scared. Like, is this like super strong? Is it gonna like completely bleach my underarms? I don't know, but uh, we'll just give it a go. So first you need to start off with clean underarms. I have deodorant on, so I'm just gonna use baby wipes to take it off. So it's just showing my armpits to the world right now. It's super embarrassing. Oh, it's so dark. I'm so embarrassed. Don't laugh at me, guys. Okay, so what you're supposed to do is apply this product. Now, the consistency is pretty thin thick and it's like white. So you're supposed to just apply it on your skin, like wait for like a minute or two and it'll like set and dry and then you kind of just like rub it off and I think it just turns into like a powder or something. And then you remove the excess with lukewarm water and hopefully your underarm will look brighter. So I'm just gonna squeeze some of that out. I'm gonna start off with this much first. And then I'm just gonna like apply it on. Like, this is a thin layer. It doesn't look thin because the product is actually really opaque. It looks like cream cheese. Okay, so I've just evenly applied a layer of the armpit brightener and oh my gosh, my shoulders are really sore. This is like a workout, just keeping my arms up like this. So I'm supposed to let it set for about a minute or two and I don't know, I think that's like, that's all I have to do. In terms of how it smells, it actually smells really nice. It kind of smells like, kind of smells like a florally baby powder, if you get what I mean. Just gonna let it dry. I hope this thing works. Like, look at the difference. Gosh, it's so dark. Look how dark it is. I can't believe people think it's hair. It's so embarrassing. Okay, so I feel like it's dry. Let me just like touch it. Yeah, it's dry, there's no transfer. So you're just supposed to like gently rub it away. Oh, I'm making such a mess. This is so messy, it's just falling on the ground. <laughs> Should have done this in the bathroom. I don't think I have to like get every single bit of it off because it just says to wash off with some warm water after. It looks kind of wider, but I think it's just because it's like chalky. Okay, I'm gonna quickly wash this off with water and I'll be right back. So I'm back. Are you ready to see my armpits? I never thought I'd ever ask anyone that, but are you ready? 
Here it is. Do you think it looks brighter? I feel like, actually no it does. It definitely does look brighter and it feels smoother too. I think the bumps, the bumps are still there. The bumps are where like the little hair follicles are. So they're still there, but they're much smoother now compared to like this side. Can you see the difference? I don't know if you guys can see the difference. What if I like have my armpits in the air? <laughs> this is super embarrassing. It hasn't like magically bleached it or anything, but it is a little bit brighter. Definitely a little bit brighter. I feel like it's something you have to use like very regularly to see more results. But yeah, after one time, I can see a very slight difference. Yeah, this side feels pretty bumpy. This side is really smooth. Yeah, there's definitely a difference. Definitely a difference. So I've just zoomed out and I feel like you guys can see the difference a bit better from a distance. This side is the one that I haven't done anything to. This side is the one that I put the armpit brightener on. Can you guys see a difference? You know, I, I can't believe I'm showing the world my underarms, but it totally works. I feel like this side is maybe like half a shade lighter than this side after just one use. And in regards to how it feels, this side definitely feels much more smoother. And this side is still pretty rough and bumpy. I'll do the other side, but I'll do that in my own time later. Let me just show you a before and after photo. Okay, so now it's time to rate the product. Now, considering it's a very small tube, and I think I bought it online for maybe like 15 or $20, I feel like, I mean, I feel like they could have like given you a bit more. There's only 20 mils of product in this. When you do both underarms, that's already taken a lot of the product. So I don't know if you can use it a lot of times. Another thing I didn't quite love about the product is like removing it. It is pretty messy. So I would recommend you do it like over the bathroom sink or something. So at least all like the powder can drop into the sink and you can just wash it away. Cause now it's like literally on the floor. Also, it is a shoulder workout, like my shoulder is killing me right now. I'm gonna be sore tomorrow and I'm yet to do this side. Also another thing is when I took the actual product off, it was a little bit itchy. Now I don't know if it's like the product or me just rubbing it with a towel, but it does like make your skin a little bit itchy, but it's not like stingy. It doesn't like really irritate your skin much. But then again, I don't have sensitive skin. So if you have sensitive skin, I maybe do a patch test to, to try it before just to see if you have a reaction. In terms of the results, I, I do like the results. I just feel like I wish it totally widened it up completely after one go, but I feel like, you know, if that was the case, they'd need very strong like amount of like product or ingredients ingredients in there. It does like lighten it up about like half a shade. And I feel like it is something that I'll just keep trying to see if it lightens. But after one use and like this is my first impression, I'm gonna rate it at eight and a half out of 10. Let me know what you guys would rate this product and if any of you guys like have the same problem as me. Sorry, I'm not a loner. I just feel like I've just, I've just shown the world my underarms, so. Yeah. Anyways, that's it to this episode of Tina Tries It. If you guys haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel to stay updated with future videos. And I'll speak to you guys next time. Bye.